You have two massive streaming data tables that you want to smash together into a single table. But here's the problem. These two tables are not recorded on the same timestamps. So trying to match them and join them together by equating the timestamps won't work because they don't align perfectly. This is the problem that an as of join solves. As of joins are computationally expensive, but Kinetica can perform these exceptionally fast because it is a fully vectorized database. In fact, it is so fast that not only can Kinetica perform these joins in less than seconds, it can keep these computationally expensive views updated in real time as new data keeps streaming into the input tables. Or in other words, if there were records added to the input tables a second ago, those would be updated and matched in the join view within seconds inside Kinetica. And you can set up all of this with the ease and simplicity of SQL and relational data models. No complex data engineering required. Just a few simple SQL queries to plug into streaming data sources like Kafka and to set up the join view. Combining two or more tables using values from a related column is one of the most common tasks when analyzing data. Traditional joins, however, can be performed only when at least one column from each table matches exactly. But there are tons of real-world use cases where we need to perform an inexact join where the records from the two tables being joined don't align perfectly. Let's explore this with some made-up stock market data that has two tables, one showing executed trades for a stock and another showing the bid and offer prices for the same stock. Both these tables are recorded with a timestamp with millisecond intervals. Here's what we would like to do with these two tables. For every trade in the trades table, we would like to find a relevant code from the codes table. With a traditional join, we would search for timestamp values in the trades table that have an exact matching value in the codes table. Here I have illustrated misses with an X and matches with a green link between the two rows. Out of the seven rows in the trades table, we end up with only two hits. So the final table has just two rows. With an equality-based join, we miss out on a ton of information. There are values in the codes table that are within a millisecond from records in the trades table that we have simply skipped because they were in exact matches. So we end up with a pretty sparse output. Now let's look at the same problem with an as-of join. The basic idea behind an as-of join is to establish an interval within which to look for matching values on the right side table. A sample query using Kinetica will look like the following. The first argument is the column in the left side table that we will use for identifying matching records in the right side table. So for us, this is the trades underscore TS column, which records the timestamp for the trades data. The second argument is the corresponding column in the right side table, which is quote underscore TS. The next argument specifies the start of the interval within which to search for matches in the right side column. Zero indicates that the interval will start exactly at the timestamp value in the trades table. Negative values here would indicate that the interval starts before the value in the left side table, while a positive value would indicate that it starts after. A good example for a delayed start to an interval would be, say, if we wanted to match arriving flights at an airport with departing flights so that passengers can make connections to their destinations. In this scenario, we would want the interval for the join to start quite a while after the arrival time so that passengers have enough time to walk over to the departure gates for their connections. The next argument in our statement specifies the end of the interval. So for this query, the search interval ends one millisecond after the trade timestamp value. The final argument is either min or max. This dictates which record to pick from the right side table when there are multiple matches in a particular interval. In our case, we have min, which implies that we will pick the value that has the minimum timestamp value, that is the one that is closest to the value on the trades table within each interval. Let's step through as of joins with an illustration. These are the same two tables that we saw earlier, one for trades and another for quotes. Let's spread the records from both the tables along a timeline. Now, when we search for matches on the quotes table, we create an interval starting from the trades table timestamp with the duration of one millisecond and we search for values in the codes table that fall within this interval. If there are multiple values from the codes table in the interval, we pick the one that is closest to the start of the interval. Just as the previous illustration, I highlight links or matches between two tables with a green line. With a traditional join, 
we ended up with just two matches out of the seven records in the trades table. Now with an as of join, we end up with all the records matched. So that was an illustration of how we can use as of joins to perform inexact joins when the records in two tables don't align perfectly. Now, as I mentioned earlier, as of joins are not computationally cheap, particularly when done on large scale with large data sets. But Kinetica is a fully vectorized database. So this means that it can handle computationally difficult tasks such as an as of join much more easily than traditional databases. And this speed allows Kinetica to do things that others simply can't. For instance, you can build an analytical pipeline on top of a continuously updating as of join view, where Kinetica handles all of the computational challenges and difficulty of keeping this view updated in real time as new data streams in. And in fact, this is so easy to do with Kinetica that all we need to do is wrap the as of join query that we saw earlier with a materialized view. Note the refresh on change option that is set on this view. With just this simple statement, Kinetica will now listen for updates to the underlying input tables. And whenever it detects new records, it'll update the view to reflect new matches between the two tables. That's it. With just one SQL query, Kinetica is now combining two tables with related columns that don't match perfectly. And it is keeping this view updated in real time as new data streams in. So that was as of joins with Kinetica. You can try it out for yourself using the demo that we have linked to in the video description below. If you have any questions, please comment below. And don't forget to leave a like for this video and subscribe to our channel for similar content in the future.